What we're going to take a look at now is the insert ribbon. There are a number of things that we can do with this. I'm going to talk about insert space later. Tables is pretty common. So this is just like in Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, etc. Same thing with picture. By simply you can take a picture from say your folder, let's just say we'll take the penguins and we can simply insert that in. Screen clipping is something relatively new. I'm going to go ahead and click screen clipping and that's going to take whatever is open behind OneNote. I can say take a clipping of just these icons here and be able to put it right within my OneNote notebook and again be able to move that around. Seeing that, the screen clipping used uh, not only in desktop icons, but let's just say we'll open up our web page here. We'll take another screen clipping. Let's just say we want to take just this image here and simply insert that into our OneNote notebook. Where I've seen that used most often is in high school where they have the software program to run the calculator. They'll take a screenshot, put it right into their OneNote notebook, and continue talking about it from there. I'm just going to go ahead and click over on the side, and I'm going to click Link. So we can link to a number of things, not only the internet, but also to another location within our OneNote notebook. So we can link a science page to a math page, etc. What I'm going to just simply do is say click and link to our OneNote basics. So when we click that, it will open up to that particular page in that particular notebook. We can also attach a file. I'm going to go ahead and click that and then I'm going to go to my desktop and find the file that I want to attach. Just a small file here. I'm going to insert. So what that's going to do is when I click, I can click that and it will open up that file. The whole purpose of putting, say, screen clippings, links, files, all in one place is that, in a sense, this is your entire lesson, where anything you need will be contained within this one page, so there's no jumping, minimizing, etc. Once you have it set up, you're good to go. In addition to that, if we click Record Audio, what this is going to allow us to do is record a piece of audio right within our OneNote notebook. As you see, here's our timer ticking away. So here's a set of directions or something very specific either for us, for the students, or as a class as a whole for us to listen to. I can click Stop. Then I'm going to go back to my Insert tab. So again, here is my audio clip that I've got here. For whatever purpose, I can save that. And then we can also record a short video and put that within our OneNote page here as well. So we can go back and not only see you as a teacher talking, but whatever's behind you, etc. Then you can also, as it says, timestamp things and add for those math teachers some equations and some symbols. So this was the insert ribbon on OneNote notebook.